All right, today I'm in the backyard and we're going to unbox and get ready to put together a step IR, crank IR antenna. This is the same one that Josh from the Ham Radio Crash Course had put together and done a couple of videos on. It, um, it's getting passed around. As special thanks to Step IR because those guys uh, donated the antenna to our Ham Radio Adventures crew, which is a new club that a few of us are forming uh, to do D expeditions, POTA activations, and all kinds of good stuff. So check it out. Shut up and sit down. Okay, guys, this is Jason at Ham Radio 2.0. And on this channel, we do reviews, news, and how-tos of everything that's new in amateur radio. So today, today we're going to be putting together a crank IR antenna from Step IR Antenna Group, <laughs> or whatever it is. Step IR, you can see on the bag. If you're going to get a, if you're going to get heavy into ham radio, and want to get some of the best equipment, Step IR is going to be one of the ones at the top of the list as far as antenna equipment goes. It's not the only great one out there, but it is definitely in the top, definitely in the top 10, probably in the top five of antennas that you're going to find for um, portable HF and home deployed HF and tower type stuff, stuff that you would put up higher on a tower. So let's take a look at this Crank IR unit today. Okay, so I got two bags here that are, uh, this, these are really nice bags, obviously. Sorry about the camera shake. So this is going to be, tripod, obviously. Really nice canvas bags that logoed and somewhat, somewhat weatherproof, I would assume. Kind of feels like they're water resistant. I wouldn't dunk the thing, but you know. Although, an antenna's not gonna, an antenna's gotta be weatherproof anyway, so it's not like the bag is trying to keep the antenna from getting wet. Um, this would be definitely heavy to take on a soda expedition, but for POTA, or field day, or something, it'd be pretty fun. So we're gonna set this up real quick. Bag number one, the only thing in that bag. Bag number two, we're gonna get, uh, yeah, that's fine there, okay. A lot of stuff in here. Here's your crank, right there. And this is the other crank, <laughs> crank IR portable antenna. It is portable, it's not backpack portable, but it's portable that. We've got these that clamps there. Three of those. Yeah, three. So we've got radiator hose clamps type things with uh, built-in wing nuts on them, spare parts. Uh, let's see, this right here is some kind of pulley system. These are part of the pulley that go around it. Pulled these out. These are hard plastic tubing. Uh, feels like fi fiberglass tubing is what it is. And then this is a this is a telescoping mast right here. That's what that is. And instructions. Because <laughs> that's what I need. All right, and that's everything in the bag. Put this over here. Like that, here, there, there, that, that, that. So, get a full on shot of that. That's everything in the bag, plus the, uh, three fiberglass pieces and the telescoping mast in the dark black container there. So we're going to put this together and see what it looks like. 
Okay, I got it all built. And turns out those, um, that second telescoping mast, or no, I'm sorry, no, 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 no. The, the two fi uh, fixed length fiberglass poles were an extension kit where you can raise the antenna up higher. And then the second crank is an optional tunable, what they call a tunable um, counterpoise or something like that. So it's, it's optional. Uh, so you don't have to put that on. So this is just the basic uh, antenna right here. You can see I've got the uh, zoomed in camera in front of it right there. And get a look at the top here. This is the whole thing. It's about 16 foot tall. Right there. You can see it's got the, the downward U shape when you've got it cranked down. I've just got it tied to the, uh, I've got it bungee corded to my fence post right now because there's no wind today. It's, it, do, it does say in the beginning of the instructions uh, on the Crank RR um, manual, which is actually right here. This is a very well written manual. Very well written manual, easy to follow, color coded, easy to read. You've got your colors right there. Get the sh uh, camera shadow out. You've got your colors right there, which tell you, tells you which band correspond to the matching colors on the on this right here so this is purple so this is 40 meters okay so that means the wire here this is this is a steel wire and at the end of the steel wire is this you can see this fishing line type thing right there right here hopefully that's focusing so this is this is paracord that's a that's a fishing lure uh, snap and then this is steel wire and it goes and th that's a connection for this it's a tie it's a tie off to the steel with steel wire the resonator starts right here so the the wider out you crank that's as far out as it goes that goes to 40 meters there's instructions in the in, uh, manual about how to tune it to 60 and 80 meters but I'm not going to do that today so what you do is it's at 40 meters right now so if I wanted to crank it back down to 30 meters, I got to go a long way. Now you can see that the, the wire on that side is going up. So I'm, I'm reeling in more steel wire and reeling out more paracord. And the paracord doesn't really do anything. So the piece of the crank IR, final piece of the video for the crank IR. This was probably my favorite antenna of the weekend at field day this year just because it was after I set it up the first time the first part of the video I set it up in my backyard at home I did a little bit of operation with it but <laughs> the guys at stepper the instructions did not have uh, the instruction the, the instruction manual didn't include instructions what to do with the hose clamps and the yellow wing nuts on them so I'll do an overlay here I took a couple of pictures of those. So it comes with this bag of wing nuts, this bag of hose clamps with the yellow wing nuts on them. And what those are for is to put them on each section of the fiberglass push-up pole so that it keeps them from collapsing. Because you're, as you're cranking the crank IR up and down, it's putting tension on the fiberglass pole. So since the instructions didn't include that, I would crank it up and down and the pole would collapse. It would come straight down one or two sections at a time. So I emailed the guys at Step IR and I said, uh, hey, uh, what's, what's the deal with this? And the guy, Jeff, uh, the, Jeff, who's the, the one from Stepper that donated or lent, uh, lent us this antenna. He didn't donate it, he, he let us borrow it to use. Uh, he called me and he's like, man, he's like, what page are you looking at? And I, I showed him the page. He's like, you're right, we missed that. He's like, we need to update our manual. Very, very helpful. Um, very supportive of YouTubers like myself and Josh, who Josh did a, vis a video on this beforehand. But once he said, yeah, that's what those hose clamps are for, I'm like, I, I kind of thought that would, because all, all the hose clamps are different sizes, so they go on the different sizes of the push-up pole for the, the fiberglass push-up pole. Once you got that all together, it took me like less than 10 minutes to set it up for field day. And using this piece right here, which is the counterpoise that cranks out and back is an easy way 
to adjust the SWR. So I put my MFJ meter on it, took my MFJ 226 analyzer on it, uh, compliments of MFJ here, thanks to Richard Stubbs for that, and put it on there and cranked the vertical to whatever band I was tuning. I tuned it to 10, 15, 20, and 40, and I've used it on all four of those bands at field day this weekend. And once I cranked it up, the SWR was somewhere around maybe two, two and a half, maybe three, not quite that high, and a couple of short cranks on this counterpoise wheel brought it right back down. I operated it probably 1.05 to 1 SWR all weekend on all four of those bands because um, just, just, just tuning the counterpoise itself. I didn't even have to do anything with the up-down vertical. So it makes it incredibly easy. Put an analyzer on it, watch where it goes. But it made it very easy to tune the antenna after you put the small piece, the color-coded piece where the vertical should be for whatever band you're tuning to, and then just tune it with the, uh, with the crank on the counterpoise wheel half a turn to one and a half turns and it was done. It was right there and it was like, boom, tuned in, put it on the, the unit. I used it on my flex radio several times this weekend to do FT8 on all four of those bands and it worked very well. So thank you to Step IR, thank you to Jeff out there. Thanks for the support. This is a great antenna. Now that I know how to set it up, I could take it and do a parks on the air activation and probably be set up and running in like 10 or 15 minutes. And uh, it's a, it works well for what it is. So this is uh, the Crank IR from Stepper. It's either Stepper or Step IR. I guess it could be both. When I call them, they answer the phone. Thank you for calling Stepper. So we're going to go with Stepper.